Hello everybody, it is your boy Twin Plays here back in our video. I hope you guys are doing amazing. So it's been a bit since I've posted and I'm sorry about that. I've been so freaking busy and I've been trying to get out videos. Um, but thanks so much to Dev Daniel right here who's bringing us this video today with the Please Donate kit. Um, he actually just by himself worked on a bunch of new stuff that should help you guys out a ton. And of course, by in this video, you're going to tell that we are making the game passes and it's pretty simple stuff. Um, but he added so much stuff to it that makes it not simple because this would have took me a while. Um, so Dev Daniel over here, feel free to check out his profile. I'll put it up right now. Um, he added a bunch of new stuff and what he added was customization, um, which we're going to talk about in the next video. Um, so customization, uh, extreme loading speed improvements. So like basically when you load in the stands, um, we're back to row proxy. So sorry about that. We're back to row proxy now. Uh, we got a custom sign tool, which is basically this tool right here. Um, you can, met S, you know, edit it, change it how you like. Um, then we have no more crash issues. Um, everything is handled in a module now. And everything is like easily added more to the stands by just duplicating um, the stand indicator to show where your stand is and unclaim and refresh buttons and the boom boxes and everything like that. So, of course, what I mean by that is if we go into our thing, we have now an indicator. Now, this won't really work in studio. Um, you're going to have to do this in game. But as you can tell, we can see our stand over here because we have an indicator. And, of course, when we go up to it, we can hit edit. And we can change the name, type in the name we want. And now there's a button that lets you refresh. So if I were to do, you know, whatever like this, um, I could just refresh it right here. Um, and basically that's pretty much it. And then there's also uh, the trash button right here, which uh, helps you unclaim the stand. So that's something we added. Now you can unclaim and claim it again, um, which is pretty nice. Um, and yes, yeah, so your sign switch should work when you uh, do this all in game. Um, then we have the boom box, which you're going to talk about. So I'll talk about the sign tool and kind of like in script wise and everything like that. And then the boom box. Now, um, if you're new to my channel, feel free to hit that subscribe button and turn on that post notifications. It means so much to me, guys. And we're almost at 21,000 I mean, subscribers, which is amazing. And um, yeah, I'm really great to ha happy to have you guys here. Um, and also maybe join the Discord if you like, because we do get, do giveaways. And I also help out everyone in there. We do have uh, Dev Daniel in here and a few other people that will help you out. So, um, you guys can't hear it right now, but there is music playing, and as you can tell, if I turn the mute and unmute, um, that button still works, of course, and we have the raise and donated, um, but there is music playing, so if you want to hear the music, um, you're gonna have to just, uh, you know, go in yourself, the game yourself, but if you hold E right here, okay, it's gonna be the boombox, just that boombox I normally have. When you hold it, it's gonna be like change music, one time use, and you're gonna click it right here. They'll buy it, then it's going to pop up a GUI, and then you're going to be putting in your 9 number for the music, and they're going to hit apply, and it will load in the music, and it will play it. Um, like I said, just for copyright issues, I'm not having any songs playing, um, but, you know, there's music in the background of this video, of course. <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to hop right into this. Um, it was definitely a challenge for Dev Daniel, I bet, so I really recommend just... Um, Go give him a follow and tell him thank you so much, you guys, because this means a lot. Now, all you got to do is um, go in the description, look for the game. You can either click Dev Daniel's game or you can click the link to download the game or you can click my game, whatever, and just hit edit or download, whatever's easier for you guys. I kind of explained this in the other videos. Um, super simple. Uh, I can probably just show you one more time. So go here and then you can hit here and hit edit or download. And same goes for uh, I have a new mega link, which will lead you to... Uh, basically a game and it will let you download it don't worry it is safe you can download from mega so that's not a thing you can't do so make sure that you can download from it um but yeah so it should be the new updated game so um yeah let's let's do this so in workspace we're gonna go to the boom box okay we're gonna go off that first and as you can tell we have the music note particles you can mess with this if you'd like it's of your choice which is just normal particles of course so simple that um, then we have the proximity prompt right here. It says change song is the action text. And of course, then we have our things like hold duration. Uh, you can do three seconds, uh, maybe two or one is better, um, but your choice. Then we have the script in here and a bunch of stuff. So configuration, song UI, all this kind of stuff is very important. So the product ID, this is going to be a dev product. This is not going to be a um, game pass or anything like that. You're going to hit... Um, 
you're gonna hit game settings um, you know yeah so that's the other thing about this this is gonna be a prompt pot product purchase this isn't gonna be a game pass so this is gonna be a one-time buy kind of thing so you're gonna go to um let's see i think it's monetization right yep and you're gonna go uh, to go to developer products and once you find this one oh it create oh there we go sorry um once you make one you go right here you can say uh oops you can call it boom box and like that and then you can say like 50 robux so they can change it one time hit save and then go back sorry go back to monetization and then you're gonna copy this id right here then you're going to paste that in this product id value and bada boom bada beam you are done um now in here i can show you a little bit more i actually didn't really get to look at all this but um Let's just quickly look at this. So the script, this is basically what we're doing. We're getting the configuration and we are going to see if they trigger the prompt. If they do, we are gonna prompt product purchase. And if the prompt gets finished as insane, if they purchase it, then we are going to get the product ID value. We are gonna check that and we're gonna clone this song UI, which is in the um, thing right here. And then on server event sound .sound ID, which is sound is going to be this right here, which is playing everywhere. So it's gonna be playing from the boom box. Um, on server event, basically, we are going to uh, be playing that ID. Now the ID, the answer is gonna be in here. So this is where we're gonna check. So we're gonna do the change audio event. So basically, this is a function uh, called is audio, and we check if it's an audio. If it is, then we are going to check in the submit button. Um, when they submit it, sorry, we are going to do the function is audio if it's valid right here. So if it's valid, as in saying if it returns true or false, if it is valid, then we are going to fire server as in saying the true change audio, which is right here. We're going to play that ID. We're going to task wait and we're going to destroy the UI. Basically that. So that's kind of simple for that one. Nothing too crazy. I think he just didn't want to do a game pass because it might have been a little bit harder. But I like the idea of dev product um, instead, guys. So good for that. Um, now, when it comes to the tool, we can go in here and you can just see right here kind of um, basically this is the local equip uh, function and then we have tool unequip function and then we have the equip function. So when the tool gets uh, equipped basically in general, um, we are going to get the player and the character and we are going to um, go check their stand and if they have a stand. Um, then we are going to claim we're going to get all the buttons and put it on the sign so you do need to claim the sign f the stand first to get all the buttons now like i said guys he did so much it looks like he really like did all the stands which is really nice um it looks like he added the rainbow and everything so i i don't yeah this is pretty cool um yeah so he did a really good job you guys um particles everything like that's still the same and then oh, sorry Woo. so new stats handler everything like this same thing same thing game passes are uh, working now of course then we have the um profile service and then the unclaim handler everything like that and then as you can tell it looks like he just did uh the normal um stuff like on when you unclaim so it goes back to normal and then an asset manager this is where you do everything so he did use the modules we have the events of course the profile service which i'll talk about in another video um and that's about it so i will actually double check one more time and we will do this in the next video when it comes to uh basically doing the edit stuff so like change theme oh yeah so change theme fire server basically what we're talking about here um i actually don't know let's see where let's go change theme um here we go on server event then we're going to check and we are going to donate it so he did do it for donated okay so you have to have a certain amount of donated so i'll talk about that in the next video feel free to subscribe comment like and share i hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much dev daniel he really just did us a huge favor um wow guys a uh, uh, freaking amazing this guy's an amazing scripter and i am gonna pay him because he is just too much for us so <laughs> I hope you did enjoy this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. I got some pretty cool stuff coming up pretty soon. Uh, peace out, you guys. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.